season started as well. So we take a look at a couple teams and how they're preparing for the season. The Liberty Hurricanes have appeared in districts over the past few years, but always coming up short most recently, losing to Nazareth in the semifinals in five sets. That was a heartbreaker for them, but they could all change when you see who they've got on the court. Here's a Liberty team that's packed with senior leadership after only losing two to graduation. And while they were big contributors, they bring back now six seniors. It's a really good core. Really, they've been playing together forever. Uh, so I feel like we have a lot of a lot of good good kids, and I feel like we have a good chance at you know contending again for another title. The past couple of years, we've been a very young team, but now that we have a lot of chemistry together and we've been growing up together, we've been playing club volleyball together, it's going to make something really special because a lot of teams don't have the chemistry and friendship that we have, and having this senior core is really going to be something special. And we have a stud group of juniors, too, and we have a sophomore step, too. She's amazing, too, so I think just, like, the culture that we have and, like, the friendships that we have and everything will really turn this team into a successful season. It's been victory in the league and heartbreak in districts over the past few seasons for Liberty who are coming off back-to-back -back EPC titles. They have yet to win a district title, though, but came close in 2016. They hope to get back to that point this year, but expect much of the same obstacles in their way. There is a lot to expect from us. Constant hard work and dedication is kind of like our motto right now. Like, we have the loss from the semifinals in districts last year that's always in the back of our head and that's constantly pushing us and we've had too many crying sessions in the parking lot after we get off the bus we've had too many like feeling just so defeated we're still not over the losses from last year and sophomore year that we know we're so close um, and I think that having that motivation a little chip on our shoulder that a lot of other teams don't have will get us through um, EPCs and districts because we are obviously have been very successful in the EPCs but we just fall short in districts and that's something that we're really pushing this year is how badly do we want it? How badly has it hurt in the past years? And we know that if we get over that hump, it'll be so rewarding and successful for us. It's anybody's league, you know, it's anybody's district. We There's so many teams that are all very similar right at the top. Um, so between us and Parkland, as usual, and Nazareth and Central, well, not Central for districts, but Emmaus. Uh, Emmaus is going to be really strong this year. So I feel like it'll be us, Emmaus. Parkland and Nazareth at the top of the district again. So um, it's just going to be, you know, who can who can win on that day. The season gets underway against Bethlehem Catholic next week, but first they have a tournament at Freedom this weekend, which is the perfect chance to see how they stack up to the competition. This Freedom tournament is always kind of getting into it and kind of seeing, okay, who are going to be the teams to beat this year and what do other teams have? I know what we're going to look like, but what other teams are going to look like, it's going to be off the charts and very unexpected. And I think that going into this tournament, and we have three weekends in a row where we have tournaments, and I think that it's just going to be a very good way of seeing and, like, scouting the EPC of who's all here. That first regular season match against Bethlehem Catholic will be on September 4th. And, of course, that only team to beat them last season is Nazareth. We'll have more on how they're preparing for their season later this week, so stay tuned for that. Mention the tournament coming up this weekend, and then they have a scrimmage tonight against Southern Lehigh, all part of the early season preparation. So we're going to step aside, take our